from the westernunion.com VIP Lounge. It's 106 came. Yale, yeah, your girl Shay Diddy here. Guess who's in the building? Charlie me. Poop. Yeah. How did we get you here? They dragged me. Of course. My pants got ripped in the process. <laughs> I think we both got dragged here because we both kind of got on matching outfits, which is cute to me. You got sick Jays on. Wow. Hey, I pulled these out the box today. I was like, hmm, how come mm. I've never worn these? <laughs> I was like, hmm. I know. I had to spray them up one time with a protector. I was like, okay, let's go. I went. There's protector for them? Yeah. I went to Flight Club with Wiz. Wiz was like, pull over. Let's go to Flight Club. And right. I'm like, oh, okay. And we went, and of course, it was a whole scene. He was like, you need to get the... Uh, he said his exact words were you have to be cripping with these uh true blues and oh uh, and i i have jordan true blues from 1995 oh my god i don't even have those i, I not many people do but i feel pretty i'm not wearing them now of course, of course but right yeah but that's don't wear those those are the ones you just put in the box and you saran wrap them and yeah. then like Put them on display. Or like Ziploc bags, walking yeah. on the subway with them. Oh, is that what you were doing? No, I don't oh. do that. Oh. <laughs> so how was it working with Wiz Khalifa? Because I know that you guys said that you recorded the song apart, that you wrote the hook, and then mm -hmm. he wrote the lyrics. Like, right. how was that for you? What's What's crazy is I never thought it was like possible to like get someone like Wiz Khalifa to be on a song. Yeah. I, I went to uh, my, the head of my label. Um, Craig Kalman, I was like, do you think we could like get Wiz Khalifa, someone like Wiz Khalifa? And yeah. I, and I, I, I was like, I was being prepared to like be shut down and he was like, all right, we'll see what we can do. Next day, he was like, he's recorded at Snoop's house. And what? I was, I was like, oh, word. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was perfect. He really, he recorded that. How can yeah. we not talk about family when family is It was so catchy. So that song literally like made me cry. I think anybody who's ever lost anyone can relate to that song. Yeah. And it was perfect for the Fast and Furious for the ending of the movie because it was just like, oh my God, this is truly emotional. Let me not. <laughs> like, <laughs> Let me not. <laughs> for real. Well, thank you. I was, I was obviously writing it for Paul yeah. so people could remember his legacy, but I was also thinking of my friend who passed away in a car accident too. Oh, wow. It was very, very upsetting. And I never was able to write a song for him. And I was like, this is the perfect opportunity to honor Paul and right. just have my friend in mind, too. So, right. Yeah. Dude, being so young in the game, like, yeah. how is it that you're working with some of the most legendary artists in hip hop right now? Like, <laughs> and what's insane is that, well, I grew up listening to, like, Naughty by Nature yeah. and, you know, Captain Save a Ho, E40, and, like, <laughs> oh, the, fe the Federation. <laughs> and, right. like, who, what are the, we Rick Rock Beats and the Finn and the Rock <laughs> Is that, who, who sings that record? Uh, Federation. Dun, 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 that shit is so dope. Oh um, my god. Um, but I grew up listening to that stuff, so I always wanted it to be part of my artist profile too. Yeah. So it was, I think, the first like R major R and B cut that I got. I came up. Um, I wanted to do. I was obsessed with uh, um, doing a song in like halftime, it dropping into the halftime yeah. chorus, and I was just like, "I know you gotta dress up for the club." Yeah. I was like, "What would it, what would like a R and B singer sound like over kind of like an Irish guitar part?" Right. And, right. and Trey sang it. It was perfect, and he put his own twist on it, and, uh, and then it's slow motion. I was gonna say like you wrote and co-produced that record with Trey songs. Yeah. How was that experience? Were you guys together? when you did that or was it like I, I, it was a situation where um i finished the record first yeah. and then sent it to him as like i <laughs> i'll be embarrassed if my demo ever leaks out because Why? Like, i i can't obviously say that word so i had to be like waiting on it come and pick you up yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. if i if that ever leaks i'll be like Ugh. i think it's okay when you're singing a demo though when it's yeah like it's a demo but when people will put it up on youtube like look i broke into charlie's email account look what i found <laughs> charlie's saying the n-word he's racist no, oh god please. no i don't know but it's actually uh you can actually hear my voice in the background yeah. of the trey songs record too i'm going whoa 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 that's like what? it's my voice reversed yeah and i was just messing around and uh no no uh no substances involved in the studio session yeah. of course and uh i was just creatively <laughs> thinking i was like i'll just reverse my vocal and uh trey layered his voice on top of it it was right. kind of like a he was like oh let me try this and like just piece by piece we like worked it out Building it was really it. cool trey is like ridiculously vocally talented that's crazy well so are you as well we I work mean, well together. I think he's the first person. You're the first person I've ever talked to who, who has ever met Ellen. Oh, and <laughs> she met you through YouTube, right? She that's found right. you on YouTube. Portia showed her a video. Of really? Mine. Yeah, and that's how I got on her show. Are you guys still in contact now? Or? Of course. Yeah. Of course. What is she saying about what you've done since? 
she's so happy with everything that's going on because I mean, how crazy that I've been on Ellen three times. So yeah. she was she was part of it from the beginning. So right. I think she feels like responsible for Aww. like some of the uh, success, and she you know she should. Ellen's like the fairy godmother of anybody vocally with really good vegan food. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! She has hamburgers that are literally made of grass, and <laughs> and they t they taste like <laughs> amazing meat. They taste like meat. Yeah. Now, you also have a song with Lil Wayne. I did. Wayne and I collaborated, too. <laughs> How did, See what I'm talking about? <laughs> Wiz Khalifa, Trey songs. Now we're going to Lil Wayne. Rappers mess with me. I mean, uh, obviously. I'm cool. He said, I'm cool. Haven't you also worked with, like, Stevie Wonder? Yeah. And I did a record for Jason Derulo called Broke, and... um. When I was producing it, uh, I produced in Pro Tools, and yeah. um, what's cool about Pro Tools is that you can like uh, take the audio and slice it together pretty seamlessly. So, uh, and the record, if you heard it, it has a harmonica drop yeah. and a fat 808, obviously. <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, I was like, I can't play harmonica, but I want these notes that I'm hearing in my head in right. the record. So right. I literally took the harmonica and was like, play this note, and I'm like, <laughs> and then I hit record. <laughs> <laughs> it took like hours, but I put it together. And you got it. And then Jason was like, I got Stevie Wonder to do the part. I'm like, are you what? serious? I was at Obama's house. I'm like, get out of here. That's insane. Like, you have stories for days. How have the last few years of your life? It's it just been a year. Only a year? Yeah. And it's drastically changed. One year ago today, all this stuff was just starting. Uh -huh. I, I just wrote See You Again. I wrote Marvin Gaye, my single right. out with uh, Megan. Yeah. And it's, it's literally only been a year. I've had to move a lot because paparazzi. Really? And fans keep fighting. It's really fun. Going to Starbucks and just, you know. <laughs> Are you one of the artists that play the game? Like, okay, let me jump out the car, let them all see me, and then just run. Let's see if we could dodge them. Nope. I just, I, I stay in, uh, I'm, I'm living at my lawyer's house in the Hollywood oh, wow. Hills. And just, I just don't leave. I put, have you ever heard of Postmates? Yeah. I think it was invented out here. Yeah, it's up the street. I, you, I, oh, that's right. Yeah, the headquarters is here. Totally I use it for everything. Yeah. CVS runs. Headphones, ex, headphones whatever he needs anything really firewood <laughs> i said firewood because you can't leave your house i can it's just everyone wh r where i was living in la it yeah. was a good starting place but i didn't expect the fame stuff to happen so quickly yeah so it's a place that doesn't have you know a gate yeah there's no security yeah i just can't live there so so we have to go home shopping for you yeah <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you're like I'm so sad about I that. I have yeah. to look in Calabasas for a home. I'm so <laughs> upset. <laughs> so if you do find out, we actually need to find you a home ASAP because I need yes. you to get a girlfriend. Oh yeah, I do. You have you, a girlfriend I, or no? I, no, I, I I would like one. <laughs> I think it's gonna be hard to get one if you live with your attorney. I think. Um, well, I mean, he's he's, he's always traveling. He's Trey Song's attorney yeah. too, so he's always with Trey too. Yeah. So it's almost like I have the house to myself sometimes. It's your own house. Throw a house party. He's got a hot tub. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's cool because you and I are just having a real conversation. Right, right. Have you ever had a party with Trey Song's before? Oh, Trey knows how to turn up. We won't give away Trey secrets, but Trey is a very fun dude. Trey is a very, very fun dude. Yeah. 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 And that's the end of that story. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Anyway, so Lil Wayne and Charlie <laughs> Booth. Yeah, nothing but trouble. <laughs> I know. Wayne's I was like, okay, we're not going to give away Trey secrets, but obviously we both experienced the Trey experience. No, I'm going to send this to Trey later and he's going to laugh. Don't do that. <laughs> no. Because Trey will remember like Shay. You know better. What happens with Trey songs stays with Trey songs. Trey probably thinks that you're pretty attractive. I, I love Trey. He's like little brother. Big yeah. little brother. Big little brother. Love it. I remember when Trey was like you when he first came out first year. He was super like, I'm going to be big. I'm going to be <laughs> this. And then like five years later, you see Trey's songs. He's like, Shay. Uh, yeah. He's like that dude. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's suave as hell. So seriously. I just need you five years from now to be the same old Charlie. No, I will be. It's hard for me not to curse right now because it doesn't even feel like an interview. It feels like really? I'm just having a conversation with well, you. That's dope. Pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> In the back. What were we talking about? We were talking about you. And we were talking Wayne. about Wayne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That okay. So I wrote that hook a year ago, uh -huh. and my fr I wrote it because my friend was dating one of those Instagram models, like with the millions of followers, and she thought she was like, oh, you know, like all that. Really? And I was like, damn, you suck, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, so, but I'm gonna write a song about you. And really? I was like, these Instagram models are yeah. nothing but trouble. Wrote it in a sauna. 
I don't know. It has nothing to do with the story. I just thought it was funny that I wrote in a sauna in, That's New, in Newport awesome, Beach. Though. Really? Yeah. So how did Wayne end up getting on it then? So I sat on the record and Mike Karen at um who's responsible for a lot of my success uh yeah. was like save this uh don't put it on soundcloud because i think it's going to be something special it uh, is yeah. and uh one year later he was like all right guess what i got wayne on the song and i was like i produced it out and uh i think cook classics topped it off and yeah. uh uh yeah it was a really really i think it's so i think it's amazing that i have a song with lil wayne i'm not even featured it's like wayne and charlie so, right yeah that's actually incredible, especially because you haven't even dropped an album yet. I know. Freaking your Wiz Khalifa track has 695 million views on mm. YouTube in 2015. The most viewed video on YouTube right now. Wow. From this year. Wow. So what is this album going to look like? I don't even know what to say. To that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like your accolades right now are ridiculous. And so when yeah. you drop your album, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. I'm curious to hear what it's going to sound like too, because everything has a hip hop undertone. Really? Yeah. Every, I'm produ I, I, every time I get off stage, cause I'm on tour right now. Every yeah. time I get off stage, I go to uh, pro tools and just produce out the records just a little bit more. And wow. everything, every record has a knock in 808 that I, you know, got a folder from Mike will or right. something like that. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah it's just i'm I'm a hip-hop lover i'm a huge fan of the bay area he's like <laughs> 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 have you uh worked with any bay area artists yet no i would love obviously e40 would be a dream right um, i'd love to where we keep the sneak really just so i could kind of like slow down and figure out what exactly what he's saying someone about a head with a smoking pepper seminary i'm like that, oh what? my god sorry <laughs> Oh my god. That 808 and super hyphy. Yeah. Not like the the Barry just has that 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 bop, that drive. Mm -hmm. I just like so there's some records that have that like little push too. Really? It's cool. So how what how would you categorize yourself as an artist because I feel like you're so diverse. I mean, you have a record out now with Megan Trainer <laughs> that is yeah. ridiculous, but it sounds so different from what you would think from somebody who does records with Lil Wayne and Wiz Khalifa. You know well, what I mean? If you if you hear Megan's part on Marvin Gaye, yeah. it actually drops into a halftime you know the hip hop thing and yeah. then kind of like you know it gets interrupted and goes back into the <laughs> right yeah so i mean that's just that was just a little you know whew, splash of what would be to come okay. and uh so i mean me as an artist just soulful pop music with a hip hop undertone so i grew up listening to R. Kelly and Babyface wow. and uh and TLC yeah. and, you know so i could yeah, David. I was like 11. Everyone was like, "What are you doing?" And He's like, like, "I this love this song." Anything with good chords, yeah, turns me on musically. Yeah. So I mean, my record's gonna have good chords. It's gonna have you know just blended nice drum patterns and just really hooky pop melodies. But yeah, you know, I and I studied jazz in Manhattan School of Music too. Wow. So it has like a little bit of not too much jazz, but right. like because I'm not, it's not a jazz record, but just a little bit of oomph. R&B chord. A little bit of oomph. A little bit of oomph, yeah. A little juice. Are there going to be any other features? On, are you finished with your album yet? The, uh, all the songs are written. It just has to be finished. Uh, so you just have to production. Do production so. wise, are you going to produce it yourself? Or are you trying to work with other people still? I mean, I'm working with uh, like five of my uh, favorite producers. They're like, uh, I, I, I basically, I don't have enough time to do it all myself. Like yeah. I did a Marvin Gaye. Yeah. Um, but. I start it and I send it off to them. They send it back. I add a couple of things. It's a little remote collaborative process. Really? Are they doing anything like, yo, we should probably add this person or do something like that? Like, are there any other features on your album we don't know about yet? Yeah, which I'm unfortunately not allowed to talk about. Really? I, I, I know. It sucks. I want to talk about it so badly. Are you going to surprise us like you did with these last records? Well, what's really, exactly. So, like, I have, I started, I did, I started off a little unorthodox with, like, the huge names. Yeah. And now it's going to like the cool names, like the, cool the, names. the names that aren't like like the Joey Badasses of the world. Not that wow. I'm saying that there's a Joey Badass yeah. feature on there. That would be cool. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Joey. Joey. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. Anything that. Any, any, uh, well, one person, I'm just going to put this in your ear, who I'd love to see you team up with. Right. Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole. J. Cole, for sure. I love Kendrick, too. Do you? Yeah. J. Yeah. Cole is an inspiration to me because that dude makes the records from the ground up, too. Exactly. He made. And he was, that dude was literally in like a McDonald's, he said, and he was like, I want the hi-hats to be pitched down and go, like, that's brilliant. 
and Kendrick too. Like yeah. this is this is come up. It was just unbelievable. That's crazy. Did someone say they showed you a picture of me and they were like, "This dude produced slow motion." I know. <laughs> and I told you. And it's like me at a school picture, like. I told when they showed, they said, you'll never believe what Charlie looks like because he did the song with Wiz Khalifa and he's producing Trey, a Trey song, Slow Motion. They showed right. me a photo. I was like, get the f out of here. <laughs> like, hell no. He's not down. Yeah. And then I saw his eyebrow and I was like, oh yeah, he's a little edgy. I'm a little edgy from the, the dog bite accident. It's all good. Yeah. It just gives you flavor. Well, fl thank you. I think I have a lot of flavor. You have a lot of flavor. I mean, shit, you can sing the records better than me. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm just saying. Right. I know, for real. So is there anything else that we should be looking forward to? New album is coming out. Do you have a date yet? New album later this year, definitely okay. before Christmas. Okay. Um, stock and stuffer. So. Stocking stuffer. Yeah. What's the next single going to be from you? I'm not allowed to say the title. It. okay but i'm gonna say it anyway it's called one call away and nice <laughs> and uh you'll like it a lot one call away is it gonna be a ballad -y or a more hip-hop no it has this tempo i like it it's gonna be cool oh my goodness well i cannot wait for this new album and i actually want to say to you i must see you in movies you have to do movies. I would love to like one once I, once I put this album out. I would love to like audition for a couple of acting you roles and have stuff. Have to, especially because you're an incredible beatboxer, as you can see. I mean, literally, can beatbox anything. Right. So, and you have so much personality. We have well, to get you on you. the big screen. That would be amazing if any director or someone's watching. They could just put me on True Blood, and I could just appear from the background, and just be like. <laughs> <laughs> the beatboxing vampire <laughs> hey turn up <laughs> wrapping things up your girl shay diddy charlie pooth if anybody wants to follow you how can they find you at charlie pooth on twitter facebook.com if people still use facebook facebook.com slash charlie pooth instagram.com slash charlie pooth everything's charlie pooth snap snapchat too snapchat is actually yes it's charlie pooth I know, because people always switch the names. So I got to be like, what's your Snapchat? It's Charlie Poof. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's 106 KMEL. Thank you so much. Thank you.